scam. We saw you and Mikhail hug each other afterwards. He held the finger up. Was that for a first win finally in Atlanta? Yeah, that was exactly what it was. <laughs> I guess what it, you've obviously seen him all your career. What is it like seeing him in a moment like that where he just calmly delivers, no timeout, comes down the court, knows exactly what he needs to do? That's it. Calm, cool. Um, trusting the work, getting to his spots. You know, he's getting to that little step back, and, and it was working for him, so he just went right back to it, didn't think twice about it, and all of the result we could have asked for, you know? Is, he's always working to yep. improve. Of course. Is he confident in his abilities? Of course. Is this as confident as you've seen him, specifically in handling in-game moments and pressure? Yeah, it's a process, and it builds. Um, yeah, and he keeps a positive mindset about it, um, and, and the more – all of us are able to see and and build and, and, and judge and make adjustments and see what might have went wrong, what might have went right. We're able to add that into our, you know, mental playbook. And so, you know, all of ours are, but it, you, you can see his developing. I believe you said the last game he didn't want to lose that game. Did you get a sense in this game, that same kind of determination where no matter what, you're going to... Not necessarily. You get locked in on the game and you stop worrying exactly, you know, about the end result and getting over that hump as much as you're worried about, you know, what we're running, what they're running, and, and how to, you know, be a little cleaner, be a little better possession to possession. You feel like it was almost frustrating in a way that the team could seem to be cold. No, it's basketball, and you got to love it. You got to love it. You got to love it. You got to love the back and forth, um, even basketball games where you're just kind of throwing blows back and forth, and, and, and those are the moments you love as a competitor. Can't talk about the yeah. Particularly toward the end, yeah. Especially on Trey. Oh man, uh, one one person you got to give a huge amount of credit to throughout the whole game was was uh, Dennis, as we call him June. He changed the game, energy. You know, he 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 got some dog in him, and he brings that to the table every day, every game. You know, no matter if shots are going down, if teams up, teams down. So you just got to love that as a, as a teammate, as a competitor. Um, you know, looking to your left, right, seeing the guys that we have who are just able to guard. And, and being confident that we can get stops. You know, defensively, we've had our ups and downs so far, but I think, you know, trending in the right direction, and, and, and the more this group is together, the better they'll get. This is defense on Trey. I mean, I think Jock said when he got in there, his focus was on Trey. So when he's taking that assignment, can you sense how it's a little bit more, I don't say easy, but just extra confidence on if he's got him, then you guys can just kind of do your jobs and let him focus on that? Yeah. Yep. You know, he's out of the snake. You know, you want to, you want to, you know, keep him contained. Um, but also, you, he's smart enough that if you overcommit to him, he, he's able to spread around. And obviously, you know, he's a, he's the highest this guy every year, um, so he's capable of that. So, you know, it's, it's really beneficial when you can play him. You know, pretty straight up. Thanks, guys.